There's a new Miss Northwestern Lady of the Bracelet, and we have the story. And if you're looking for a way to lose a few pounds, we'll show you where to go. I'm Brady Raynard. And I'm Jillian Quarter. Your news starts now. The Will Mosley Family Support Fund has been established through the Northwestern State Athletic Association to assist with expenses related to the sudden passing Saturday night of Will Mosley's infant twin sons. NSU Director of Athletics Greg Burke and Head Basketball Coach Mike McConathy announced the fund on Monday. Jaden and Caden Mosley were born last March 20th and had been hospitalized since birth. Both died Saturday evening, Jaden during emergency surgery and Caden with a short while after. There had been no indication the children would take a dire turn. Mosley's girlfriend, Kayla Pete, an NSU student from Lake Charles, received a call from the hospital informing her of the tragedy while she waited for Mosley's fo Mosley following the team's game at Stephen F. Austin. Quote, the outpouring of support is simply amazing and we're so grateful for the kindness and concern being shown, said McConathy. McConathy went on to say that countless people have asked what they can do to help. He stated, quote, NCAA rules allows us to establish a fund to help with the expenses in situations of this magnitude to support our players and it is important to follow those guidelines. We are profoundly blessed by far with the compassion we've experienced in friends near and far. Contributions can be made online through the NSUDemons.com website off of a Donate Here link at the center of the homepage. They can also be made by calling NSU Athletics at 318-357-5251 or the NSU Basketball Office at 318-357-4274. Or you can send a check made out to Will Mosley Family Support Fund to NSU Basketball, Prather Coliseum, Natchitoches, Louisiana, 71497. Thanks, Jill. He'll be in our thoughts and prayers. And we have a new Northwestern State Lady of the Breast, uh, Bracelet. Jessica Blow introduces her to us now. SAB's annual Lady of the Bracelet pageant was held in the AA Fredericks Building February the 4th. Ten students competed to become Miss LLB. The events they participated in were personal interview, swimsuit, evening gown, talent, and on-stage questions. After judges tallied their votes, the new 2012 Lady of the Bracelet was announced. Contestant number three, Tori Thompson! She says competing in the pageant has always been her dream. It's a great honor to be Miss Lady of the Bracelet to represent Northwestern and to get to compete at Miss Louisiana with all the great girls and great competitors. It's just a real honor to get to represent the school that I love. Now Tori Thompson will go on to compete in the Miss Louisiana pageant in Monroe, Louisiana on June the 23rd through the 25th. Tori has already started getting ready for the pageant. Um, eating right, working out, working on my talent, getting all my clothes together, just everything, just to make sure everything's perfect. This is Jessica Blow with NSU News. Do you need to figure out a way to lose a few pounds before spring break? Well, Teresa Riley lets us know what the rack has to offer. NSU Rack presents a new and fun way to burn lots of calories. Roxy's Hip Hop Exercising Class is offered on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 5.30 p.m. That, and through dancing, they're getting an amazing workout. So I started it here and um, through my warm up, I do a lot of sprawls and a lot of kickboxing moves and stuff just to get the body intense and that works out your lower abs, your upper abs, your thighs, your glutes, everything down there especially. We do a lot of stretching, which works on your flexibility. And then throughout the dancing, you're working every single muscle in your core and in your body. Don't be shy, come out and show your moves. Uh, 
keep my me active because I, I like to be active and I also like to burn calories. So this class helped me keep my cardio up and just keep my body moving back and forth. Roxy is currently a student at NSU and enjoys teaching new dances in hopes that any age group can come and enjoy. Everyone can participate in this class. Every Tuesday is a lot easier than Thursdays and I make sure to let the students know that in particularly so that way um, I have some older women and men that come in on Tuesdays because it's not as intense. Uh, the warm-up is the same pretty much but the exercise is, um, and the choreography is a little bit more broken up. For more information, just stop by the rack at 5.30 on Tuesdays and Thursdays and take a peek. For NSU News, I am Teresa Riley. Man's best friend is getting some special treatment from NSU students and the city of Natchitoches. Katherine Harper has the story. On February 28th, three Natchitoches canine organizations, Hope for Paws, Happy Tales, and the Natchitoches Humane Society held their annual Pies for Paws. Along with people from the community, many NSU students volunteer their time and service to help man's best friends. Paws is, you know, one of the only uh, rescue groups that I know of out here besides Happy Tales. Um, I'm going into the pre-vet and vet tech field, so, you know, it's helping me to get used to working with them. Um, you know, getting them off the street is our main goal here. Uh, it's great when we can uh, get them adopted, you know, there are very few that we wind up getting back, but you know, I just, I love working with them. They, they can make a great companion for anybody, <laughs> if you actually give them a chance. February 28th is also National Spay and Neuter Day, which is the Natchitoches Humane Society's main goal. I'm with the, the Natchitoches Humane Society. We've been established since 19, oh, yeah. not, no, 1972. Uh, we do spay and neuter. We rescue animals. Uh, we try to help the people in the community that can't pay for the spay and the neuter. We help them with it, like the elderly. And these furry friends used to be former strays until Happy Tales rescued them. Happy Tales is a prisoner rehabilitation program at the Natchitoches Detention Center. The inmates earn the right to uh, take care of the ten dogs that we have, and they have to keep those rights. So they have to be on task all the time and do what we need to do. But they have been, and they've changed over months when we've watched them with dogs. We've seen men smile that were not smiling when we first met them. They've asked questions um, that you just didn't think that one of these guys might ask. All fuzzy creatures are available for adoption, except for the children. For further information, you can check out Hope for Paws and the Natchitoches Humane Society website. For NSU News, this has been Katherine Harper. All right, Richard, we've seen some light showers today. What can we expect for the weekend? Well, actually, it won't get any better. We will have rain for the rest of this weekend. After the break, we'll take a look to see what our weather has in store for us. When you come to the end of your educational journey, keep your NSU connection by becoming an active member of the NSU Alumni Association. As a part of the NSU Foundation Incorporated, the Alumni and Student Alumni Association have been working together to aid students through their studies while enhancing student involvement and instilling a sense of tradition in the university's students and alumni. For more information, visit NorthwesternAlumni.com or stop by the Alumni Center to keep that demon spirit alive. Ever wanted to travel abroad and climb the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France? Boat on the waterways of Venice, Italy. Visit the famous castles of Bavaria, Germany. Or relax on the sandy beaches of Sydney, Australia. While earning class credit at the same time, these locations and opportunities are offered to you as an NSU student, regardless of your major. For more information, contact the Family and Consumer Sciences Department, and you can be on your way. KNWD is back and better than ever, with more shows and more music that you can't find anywhere else on the dial. So if you're ready for a break from the other guys, tune into 91.7 FM, The Demon. And we're always looking for energetic voices, so stop by room 109 Kaiser and pick up an application and get ready to rock. KNWD 91.7, The Demon.
The time has come for you to make the big decision about where you will attend college. If Northwestern State is the place you want to go but do not have all the requirements necessary to attend NSU, then don't give up hope. You can still come to Natchitoches and take classes on campus at Bossier Parish Community College at NSU. Bipsy at NSU is here to help students start their college career and reach admission requirements for Northwestern. Bipsy at NSU, excellence in education and service. Good afternoon, Natchitoches. I'm Richard Schinberg, and this is your NSU weather. Right now, we are having witnessing temperatures of 7 degrees with a midi of 87, dew point of 56, and our winds are coming from the southeast at 10 miles per hour. Now, let's take a look at our state temperatures. In New Orleans, they're witnessing temperatures at 78 degrees, while in Lake Charles, they're witnessing temperatures of 73, and in Shreveport, 69. Now, we're going to take a look at our area radar. As you can see, this is the clouds that are covering us right now, but it's not as bad as what's up to our north. Speaking of the north, this is the system that's to our north. They are witnessing it is spanning from Oklahoma all the way to New York. They're witnessing rain, thunderstorms, and strength, like clouds. This is the national satellites. Take a better look at where these thunderstorms are. They are in this area from Arkansas, Kentucky, and Tennessee. This is our national forecast. There is a flash flood possibility in southern Arkansas to northern part of Louisiana. Natchitoches, we are at the end of this warning, but we are in the possibility for severe thunderstorms, whereas have rain coverage in this area. Tonight, we could witness a low at 53 degrees with sto um, storms. While tomorrow, we could witness a high of 61 with thunderstorms. Now let's take a look at our five-day forecast. Friday and Saturday, we will have thunderstorms with our highs ranging from 65 degrees to 68, while our lows ranging from 59 to 62. While on Sunday and Monday, we'll have just showers with our temperature range, our highs ranging from 71 to 76, for our lows ranging from 61 to 62 degrees. And Tuesday, we'll have partly cloudy skies with a temperature around 77 degrees as our high and a low at 62. I'm Richard Schenberg, and this has been your NSU weather. Are you tired of the problems on campus and want to do something about it? The Student Government Association is here for you. The SGA strives in making a difference for students and enhancing student life here at Northwestern. They work to improve problems on campus like parking, housing, food services, and many more. So if you have a problem or you just want to make a difference at NSU, the SGA is the organization for you. The SGA, the voice of the people. The Watson Memorial Library on the edge of campus provides students with not only a vast variety of books, but also caters to many of their other needs. The library provides an ideally perfect atmosphere with its peaceful study environments, study tools, media center, and a vast array of books for both school and pleasure. The library staff is there to help students with all their questions and needs. The Watson Memorial Library is a perfect place to become the best student you can be. Northwestern State University of Louisiana encourages education, research, and action focused on the environment, energy conservation, and sustainability. Also, as part of this initiative, NSU promotes a healthy student body campus and community. 